Welcome to the Imaging Project, where we delve into the science behind the images we capture. I'm your host, Glenn, and today we're talking about the intriguing Comet 12P, its recent outburst, and this image captured by Greg Crinklaw. Comet 12P slash Ponce Brooks was observed on the night of July 22, 2023, revealing an extraordinary shape, resembling a horseshoe crab. So what is going on with this comet? On July 19, 2023, Comet 12P was reported by Alec Tamas of the Harsona Observatory to have undergone a sudden increase in brightness, known as an outburst. Its magnitude increased from 16.6 to an impressive 11.6. That's a jump of five magnitudes. This is rare but not unheard of. About 20 periodic comets are known to exhibit similar behavior. It is not yet known by what mechanisms these outbursts occur. Some hypotheses propose the role of internal sources within the comet nucleus, such as the transformation from amorphous to crystalline water ice. As comets journey from the frigid reaches of the outer solar system towards the sun, the heat provokes a change in the state of their water ice, from an amorphous glass-like form to a structured crystalline state, akin to terrestrial ice. This transformation releases energy and liberates gases and dust embedded within the amorphous ice, possibly leading to sudden substantial increases in comet activity. Another idea is the polymerization of hydrogen cyanide, HCN, a process where individual HCN molecules link together to form longer chains or networks, a polymer. This process releases energy which can lead to an increase in the comet's activity. Others suggest collisions with tiny interplanetary bodies or the influence of solar wind on the comets. Still, Others link the phenomenon to the internal structure and mechanical stresses within the comet nucleus. As for Comet 12P, the current understanding is that an increase in the rate of sublimation of cometary ices and ejection of the external surface layer in the form of a dust cloud contributes to its outburst. This process increases the number of particles reflecting sunlight in the coma, which boosts the comet's glow. Richard Miles of the British Astronomical Association offers a unique perspective on the cause of the unusual notch in the coma. In his words, the escaping dust can imprint a sort of shadow in the moving coma cloud owing to the missing material in the sheltered zone, created as the dust is accelerated away from the nucleus, but is partially blocked in certain directions. He further explains that this may be a consequence of the slow rotation of the comet's nucleus. If the nucleus is bilobed, as some comets are, an outburst source towards the end of one lobe could cause the dust cloud to pass the narrow part between the two lobes, imprinting the elongated nucleus shape into the outburst coma. Let's turn to Greg's image of 12P slash Pons Brooks, showing this odd morphology. As of July 22, 2023, the comet is in the constellation Draco. It was magnitude 11.5 and had a diameter of 19 arcseconds. Its orbit takes 71.2 years to complete. At perihelion, the comet is a mere 0.8 astronomical units, AU, from the Sun, whereas at aphelion it stretches out to an impressive 33.6 AU. The elliptical orbit has an eccentricity of 0.95 and significant inclination of 74 degrees. Comet 12P is on a trajectory towards perihelion, anticipated to occur on April 20, 2024. Current predictions suggest it will reach a maximum brightness by mid-April, and it could potentially be a naked eye or at least binocular object. Greg obtained three 180-second exposures in an Astrodon G2E luminance filter using eye telescope T24, located at Sierra Remote Observatories in California. This is a plane wave 24-inch telescope with an FLIPL 9000 CCD camera. The telescope tracked the comet during the exposures. He chose more than one image in order to increase the signal to noise ratio, in order to potentially bring out faint detail in the coma, and a minimum number of three is required to do a moving comet stack in Pixon sight. Greg plans to continue capturing images of this capricious comet in the coming days and weeks. This will allow us to monitor the changes in its morphology potentially even creating an animation as it changes. We will report back as the comet evolves. Until next time, clear skies.